Hello friends, welcome to CS Tutorials. Today we'll be solving problem 1313, the compressed run length encoded list. The problem statement says we are given a list norms of integers representing a list compressed with run length encoding. Consider each adjacent pair of elements, frequency and value. Will be equal to this arithmetic formula with i greater than or equal to zero. For each such pair, there are frequency elements with value of r concatenated in the sublist. Concatenate all the sublists from left to right to generate a decompressed list and return a decompressed list. So we have an example here. Um, norms is equal to an array of one, two, three, and four. The output is two, four, 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 because the explanation here says we have one, two, which is so one is the frequency, two is the value, so we have one, two, three is the frequency, four is the value, so we have three fours, so one, two, and three fours, and same for example two, one, one and two, three. So one, one, we have three twice. Uh, without wasting too much time, we're gonna be solving this problem using a list. We will add our elements into the list, we add our values into the list based on the frequency. And once that is done, we're just gonna, since we need to return an array, we're gonna return, we're gonna add every element in the list to, a, to an array and return that array. Um, so we need a list of integer, we call this list to be equal to new array list. And then we're gonna need an integer array and we'll call this results will be equal to actually we cannot define this right now because we need the size of the list so we will go ahead and get the length of our norms array norms dot okay norms dot length So now we we'll say for int i is equal to zero. I is less than length i plus plus no i plus two. And we're gonna be doing this because we want to every time we go through this list, we want this first for loop to be indicating our frequency and not the value. So in order to be able to get the value, we'll need an, a second for loop, which will say for int j is equal to zero. j is less than norms of i. j plus plus. So list dot add norms of i plus one. So essentially, um, this outer loop is going to be going from pointing to our frequencies. So it's going to point at one, and then it's going to point at three. Next. Um, while this inner loop is going to start at zero, well, it's going to be pointing at our values. So for norms of i, we're adding, well, for j less than norms of i, so j has to be less than uh, one. J is starting at zero, it has to be, less, it can't go past one. J is starting at zero, it can't go past three. So the first time we we'll go j, um, i is pointing at one. So norms of i is one. And we say um, we want to add norms of i plus one, one time into our list. 
I hope that makes sense. If it doesn't make sense, you can leave a comment and um, you leave a comment and I'll get to it. So now we can get the size of our array. We call this n is equal to of our list. Excuse me, list dot size. And um, now we can get um, our new our result array. We call to new int of n we we'll say for int i is equal to zero i is less than n and um, i plus plus what we want to do now we say result of i is equal to list dot get i and once we're done we return our result and if we run this if we don't have any typos we will get the correct answer it plus equals should be plus equals And um, oh, integer. Yes, like I said, if we don't have any typos, um, if we run this now, we should get the correct, and we do have a correct answer. Um, I will submit this so we can test and see. We do see we our answer is accepted. So that's it for today, guys. Thanks for watching. If you like the video, please subscribe to the channel leave a like leave a comment and we appreciate you happy coding